Welcome back. Please take a second to go ahead and read through the question and the given information and then come back and join me. Okay, great. So I'm just going to give you a super quick summary. Basically, a school district is trying to offset its carbon dioxide emissions by raising money to help conserve a portion of forest land that is nearby to the high school campus. Okay, so jumping right into the questions, number one says calculate the mass of carbon in kilograms that is accumulated and stored in one hectare of forest in one year. Okay, so I'm going to start with my given, which is one hectare. This is a dimensional analysis problem or a unit conversion problem. So I'm going to be paying extra special attention to my units as I go through. So looking at my first given here, it says the biomass of the forest increases at an annual rate of 2.7 times 10 to the fifth kilograms per hectare. So I'm going to put my hectare in the bottom and then I'm going to put my 2.7 times 10 to the fifth kilograms in the top. Now I have to be careful here because I am in kilograms, but I am not in carbon. So in order to get to carbon, I have to use my second given, which says the forest biomass is 50% carbon by mass. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to multiply it by 50%, which is really just the same as 0 0.5. So now if I take half of 2.7, I get 1.35 times 10 to the fifth kilograms, and this is in one year. So just zooming out quickly, what does this number represent? This is the mass of carbon that is accumulated and stored in one hectare of forest in one year. Okay, moving on to question number two. This asks us to calculate the mass of carbon in kilograms that is emitted by the school as a result of its fuel oil consumption in one year. So in order to do that, we need to start with our third given here, which says each, each year the district uses 3.0 times 10 to the fifth gallons of fuel oil. So 3.0 times 10 to the fifth gallons of fuel oil. Now, looking at our next given, we know that 10 kilograms of carbon dioxide is produced when one gallon of fuel oil is burned. So again, making sure my units are diagonal, I'm gonna put one gallon in the bottom and I'm gonna put 10 kilograms of carbon dioxide in the top. Now I'm close, but I still have to get to carbon. So looking at my next given, I know that one kilogram of carbon dioxide contains 0 0.27 kilograms of carbon. So now for every one kilogram of carbon dioxide, there are 0 0.27 kilograms of carbon. So now let me just check everything and cancel out my units. So gallons cancels with gallons, they're diagonal. Kilograms of carbon dioxide cancels with kilograms of carbon dioxide. And now I'm in kilograms of carbon, which is exactly what I wanted. Now I'm gonna go ahead and multiply. I'm gonna start by taking my 10 and multiplying it by 0.27 to get 2.7. And then I'm gonna multiply 2.7 by three or 3.0. So that is gonna give me 8.1, and then I'm gonna add on the times 10 to the fifth kilograms carbon. And again, just to zoom out one more time, this is the amount of carbon that is emitted by the school as a result of its fuel oil consumption, again, in one year. Okay, moving on to part three. This asks us to calculate the number of hectares of forest the school district needs to conserve in order to offset the carbon released by the school basically in a year. So what we know from part two is we know that the school emits 8.1 times 10 to the fifth kilograms of carbon. And then what we know from part one is that each hectare of forest can absorb 1.35 times 10 to the fifth kilograms of carbon. And I could even just say per hectare like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and divide those numbers and I'm gonna go ahead and get six hectares like so. You could also set this up a little differently. I'm just gonna show you quickly up here if you don't like seeing the units like that. 
So really what I did was I basically did this kilograms of carbon in one hectare like that. And then you can nicely see how these units cancel diagonally. Once you get more comfortable with these problems, you can do it this way. But I just wanted to make that note in case that was a little confusing, just seeing me go quickly through the units rather than seeing me write it out completely. Um, okay, let's move on to part four. Here we go. All right, so part four says calculate the amount of money the school district must raise for the conservation project. Well, if it needs to conserve six hectares of forest, and we know from our bottom given here, the cost of putting one hectare of forest into conservancy is $12,000. I'm simply going to take my six and I'm going to multiply it by the 12. I'm going to cancel out my hectares as well. And then I'm going to get $72,000. So that represents the amount of money the school district will have to raise to conserve the appropriate amount of forest to offset their carbon dioxide emissions.